Hello, Chris Aurora, the Orminators here, and um, coming back with uh, some Overland uh, stuff that I bought at Overland Expo. Um, when I went down there, I was using this uh, cheap Chinese knockoff thing, uh, 167 watt hours worth of 150 watt power there, uh, which is questionable. I don't think I got near that much because it's a few years old, so the battery's probably taking a crap. So I was in the market for a new, um, uh, new battery station and of course Goal Zero is one that I looked at and um, Wagon and a couple of others but I wound up settling on this fella here uh, they had a show special going on so uh, you'll probably have to go to the website and see what the current uh, current prices are given supply chain so I don't want to date this thing too much anyways uh, yeah Overland Expo Pacific Northwest I found this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unboxed got a little uh, 68 watt uh, uh, solar panel and uh, this uh, Wagon Tech Lithium Q325, which has got double the um, the watt hours that the uh, that the little Chinese fellow right there has. So let's get it unboxed and see what it looks like, and get her charging up because I'm going on a trip this weekend. Instruction manual. size here a little bit a little bit different it's got uh, got your two 110s there USB type C a couple of regular USB DC it's got a little built-in LED light kind of a cool little handle so you can easily carry it around a little topographical map on the top very lightweight very lightweight and in the box here We've got a power supply to charge it up. It also has a cigarette lighter charging up. What they call an Anderson connector for charging. So you can basically charge anything with the um, 12 volt power supply and your, your panels. So let's go ahead and uh, get that plugged in and see what that does. The panel itself, again 68 watt, just kind of flips open like that. And inside the little zipper case there is the Anderson connector. So what I'll do is get the Anderson connector plugged in. Like so. Everything's together nice and neat. Get it plugged into the DC input, like that. And we'll just open that up, face it at the sun. See what it does. Now that the the panels are aimed right at the uh, at the sun there, we're in a nice sunny depth here in the Pacific Northwest. The cube itself, you can see, is lit up, and it gives you where the status is. Right now, it's 64%. Right now, it's not outputting any watts at all. And uh, yeah, we'll see how long that takes to charge up from 64%. It's uh, currently 11.45 Pacific Standard Time. So we'll come back in a little while and, and get a sense about where we're at. So the sun's down. Uh, the, it's about 8 o'clock at 8.30, 8.30 at night here, Pacific Northwest. Uh, the battery says it's 100. I don't know when it hit 100. I was actually out for a few hours, but it it was at 82%, about four hours after I plugged it in. So I guess it probably didn't take too much longer after that. So it's fully charged. It's ready to go. We're going on our trip tomorrow. So I'm not going to take the solar panels with me, theoretically, with as little as we're going to be using it. It should probably last the entire weekend without a recharge. And I'll take the the DC uh, the, the cigarette lighter charger with me uh, as we 
go along in case I do want to top it off or anything like that. But otherwise, yeah, um, let's go on the trip and uh, plug all sorts of crazy stuff into it and see how long this thing lasts and how much it gets uh, depleted uh, by the time I get back on Sunday. And then we'll add that video, add that to this video and see what we got. I'm going to... I'm gonna put my my uh, my rubber bands on the races, so don't 